I'm Professor Karen Mapp, and I am the Faculty Program Director for the Education Policy and Management Program. Can you believe it? This is your graduation day, EPMers. The time flew by from last June when you made that anxiety-ridden decision to go on this journey with us. So, you know, when I think about this year and your class, a few words come to mind. The first is bold. Now, I don't know how many of you are Star Trek fans. I started watching the series back in the mid-1960s, and those were the days of Captain Kirk. Now, over the years, Star Trek has introduced several captains to us. So there was the original, Captain James T. Kirk, and that was William Chatner. There was, and still is, Captain Jean-Luc Picard, and that was Patrick Stewart. And then one of my personal favorites, <clears throat> uh, Captain Benjamin Sisko, and that was Avery Brooks. And then we had the first female captain, Catherine Janeway, who was played by Kate Mulgrew. So now, even though the captains have changed, one thing stayed mostly the same, and that was the opening line of the show. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise, its five-year mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no one has gone before. To boldly go where no one has gone before. That's what you did when you decided to come to HGSC this academic year. You decided to explore a strange new world. You decided to step into a space where there was no real certainty, no real guarantees. You decided to boldly go where no one has gone before. And that brings me to the second word, grace. Now there are a couple definitions of grace. One is simple elegance or refinement of movement. Another is courteous goodwill. I think both apply here. You move through this year with an elegance that was breathtaking. And you did it with a goodwill that held steady through the confusing emails, canvas, the hub, glitches on Zoom, you're on mute, and the last minute twists and turns and changes that were all a part of this year. And that brings me to my final word, grateful. I think I can speak for all of the HGS faculty and staff in saying how grateful we are to have had this opportunity to spend this special year with you. You guys rock. We hope that you have learned as much from us as we have learned from you. But rather than speak for others, I'd like to share the stage with some folks who would like to express their gratitude and extend well wishes to the EPM class of 2021. Congratulations, class of 2021. We're so grateful that you took a chance on HDSE this year and proud of all that you've accomplished. Your experience may have been virtual, but rest assured that the relationships you've built with us and with each other are very real. We can't wait to see what you accomplish on behalf of students in the US and around the world. Congratulations on your graduation today. The opportunity cost of me talking is you not celebrating with your family and friends. So I'll just say this, we are thrilled to have you as part of the Harvard education community today and for many years to come. All the best luck in what's next for you. Congratulations. Hey everyone, this is Professor Monica Higgins wishing you congratulations. I know you've heard from so many people, Karen Mapp, our fearless leader, uh, who you all know loves to dance. So I thought I'd say, um, have you ever heard of this expression, 
dance like nobody's watching you? Well, I would say dance like everybody's watching because everybody here at Harvard Graduate School of Education is so proud of you, so happy for you. And if you don't like dancing, or even if you do, I would highly recommend some ice cream. Doesn't matter what time of day it is, Go get yourself some good ice cream or whatever treat suits you best because you deserve it. Congratulations, EPM graduates. Uh, I can't think of a more difficult year, uh, and yet you've survived, you've prospered, and you've triumphed. Uh, and frankly, I want to bring an optimistic note. You're entering a world uh, that's much more promising than the world that existed when you started your program. Uh, the health situation is improving, uh, despite all the suffering and loss, we're coming back, people are coming out of our cocoons, uh, the economy is picking up and jobs, most importantly, are coming open. We have a federal government that actually cares about children and families and education, uh, and they're willing to make some big investments there. And the quest for racial and social justice is still very much alive. So it's a great time for uh, you know, looking ahead, it's a great time for leadership. It's a great time for equity oriented policy and investments. And so all I can say to you is great job, go to it, keep up the good work, take advantage of the opportunities ahead of you. Hello, EPM cohort of 2020, 2021. It's been a heck of a year, hasn't it been? And you all just excelled. I mean, you did you did amazingly, I think, with such a year of stat crises, with COVID, with like being online and having to work across time zones and all that that had to do, you all were amazing. And I had a blast working with all of you, whether it was in my class in the fall or in the spring, A608, whether it was in Fernando's class in the fall or in the spring, or Joe Blatt's class, I really enjoyed um, getting to know all of you. And I'm looking forward to seeing the amazing work that you'll do, or as Hugsy's model says, the change that you will make in the world and the fingerprints that you will leave everywhere. So congratulations on your year, on a successful, amazing year. And thank you so much. I think I want to say merci, gracias, obrigado, grazie, kamsahamnida, sheshe, domo arigato. And hopefully I'll see all of you soon. And now, I'd like to present to you the 2021 graduates of the Education Policy and Management Master's Program. The Intellectual Contribution Award recipient for the Education Policy and Management Program, Constance Gist. Diana Acosta. Sirmed Ahmed. Aline Amini. Armando Barajas. Brooke Boniface. Sarah Bashir. Nicholas Bonaducci. Julio Cabral Corrada. Savannah Campbell. Allison Chow. Susan Dye. Paula DeRosani. Ranisa Deshishku. Christina Salter. De Bratz, Emily Dodge,
Dwanisha Evans Clark, Susanna Ewart, Andrew Furson, Annette Emerit Finnegan. Alexandra Barata Flatley, Tyrone Austin Florizard, Taylor Luckadoo Garcia, Abigail Gomez, Irene Gomez. Matthew Grimes, Brennan Hom, Puyan Han, Mitch K. Harvey, Hillary Haskell. Jeff Holiday, Sydney Holman, Irene Holtzman, Isabel Hoyt, Lee Fei Wong. Ryan Quinn, Vishal Jan, Aaron Jakes, Iris Jeffries. Dave Johnson. Katie Jones, Alicia Kanar, Emma Kamata, Quinton Clayban, Kismet Athena. Canterbury, Lantos, Sweat, Arian Laws, Tiara Rose Little, Hannah Liu, Laura Lubin. Karen McKechnie, Lauren Meisner, Catherine Meyer Meckler, Brittany Moniz. Marilyn Morales, Sarah Nichols, Christina Okezi, Abby Ukabadejo, Bridget O'Shaughnessy. Jessica Paycheck,
Mackenzie Parkins, Elizabeth Parrish, Mary Ellen Pauley, Luasia Pearson, Enrique Romero Jr. Jonathan Salazar Armin Salek Elizabeth Sanchez T. Sarmina Dan Scarver Preeton Shaw Miko Silliman Nicole Sakacheski LaShawn Springer David Struess Kelly Koyoko Tashima McCormick Madison Thomas Kathy Tron Rebecca Vulardo Anu Dinesh Vias Alexis Danielle White Romy Williams Bursabel Yeshitla and the Marshal for the Education Policy and Management Program, Vo Ram Yoon. So once again, I'd like to offer my congratulations to you, our 2021 EPM graduates. I can't wait for the day when I can see you in person. Until then, all the best, stay in touch, and please, Stay safe.